Welcome, Warhawks. This is News at Noon for today, Tuesday, October 26, 2021, with your hosts, Alex Peters and Dixie Tyler. Today's news is brought to you by the Warhawk Watch. They have begun their Save the Boobies campaign to raise awareness for breast cancer and the plight of bees worldwide. Together, we can make a difference. You can purchase a boobie in honor of your loved ones for 50 cents that will be displayed on the bulletin board at the front of the school. That money, as well as any other donation that you would like to give, will be passed on to our local Dale County Relay for Life. Ask a member of the Warhawk Watch staff to purchase one. They are the folks wearing pink shirts tomorrow. Parents and alumni can purchase bees from the front office. Some of the, boob some of the boobies have already been purchased. You can see those names on the front of the bulletin board. Honorees so far include Jordan Nichols, Laura Bateman, Cassia Dent, Bobby Fletcher, Rita Nichols, and Rose Maniscalco. Bees will be on sale until the end of the week. Congratulations, Hawks, on making it through the first nine weeks of school. Report cards will go home later in the week. Senior Beta Club has members that are available for tutoring. For details, see or e email Ms. Laura Howard, the sponsor of the Beta Club. All Beta Club members complete 10 hours of community service as part of their membership, so let them help you get it together. Honor roll will be announced later in the week. Keep your eyes peeled for those names on the list. Congratulations to the seniors who were honored at last Thursday night's pregame. A video and pictures of the event will be available later in the week. Today begins Red Ribbon Week across Daleville City Schools. The high school campus has several activities planned to encourage you not to make the decision that will make will end, that you that will end you up living in a drainage pipe and eating out of people's trash cans. Dress up days are as follows: Monday, we are ready to be drug free. Wear red. Tuesday, check yourself, wear checks or pla uh, plaid. Wednesday, peace out to drugs, wear tie-dye. Thursday, turn your back on drugs, wear a pink shirt backwards. And Friday, team up against drugs, wear your favorite uh, team shirt. A mural is, being, is currently being drawn that will display the struggles and strife of those who choose drugs over hugs. It will be available for viewing later in the week. Current members of the Quillen School Society will meet this Wednesday to vote for officers and create a year-long plan. That meeting will take place during homeroom in the annex. Elicitants will be sent out tomorrow. The band before Christmas is making their list of players and checking it twice. Current director Gabrielle Scott is your contact person. She is looking for some great musicians with a solid memory and, pr and to participate in the year's yearly and the band's yearly caroling experience. There will be a student flu clinic November 4th. Forms are available from the nurse or your homeroom teacher if you would like to participate. Fall pictures are today. These pictures are the ones that you will see in the yearbook. Classes will be called by grade level. If you happen to be in one of the few rooms where the intercom doesn't speak clearly, make sure you have an intercom buddy that will let you know when it's your turn. Make sure your picture is taken today. The War Arc Watch will uh, be taking presidential photos of all organizations today for the Wall of Presidents. So make sure you look professional for that photo. We will find you when that takes place. Don't come and find us. Andy and the yearbook editorial staff want you to know that the 2021-2022 yearbook is now available for purchase for $45 through their online portal. A link is available on the school website. The yearbook will contain students 9 through 12. There are lots of pages with lots of pictures of you. Buy one before they run out. Friends and family of current students can give the gift of memories by purchasing a yearbook for their most cherished one for Christmas. The link we have posted is open to anyone for purchase. You can actually print out the page where you purchased the yearbook and put it in the card. Remember, yearbooks come back the following year because we include graduation. Friends and families of seniors can purchase a yearbook page in, in their honor. Usually these pages contain photos of the senior who is graduating from birth up until graduation. Those pages can be designed by the yearbook staff or by you. See Ms. Bear for details. Students interested in making up submission for the National Peanut Festival should go see Ms. Robertson. She can help you figure out what you might be interested in. There are categories for photography, painting, and all sorts of other media. The band is 23 days out of Disney. We have 23 days to get you ready for the trip of a lifetime. Check the band board for details. Today, the junior varsity basketball teams will play at the new gym at Wyndham at 4.30 against Pike County. Tickets are at the door for $5. The girls and boys are scheduled to play and then also on Thursday at home, 4.30 against GW Long. Concessions are available, so bring lots of cash. Breakfast for tomorrow is an egg, cheese, biscuit, assorted juice, and milk. Lunch is Italian seasoning, baked chicken, cheesy penne, green beans, fruit cocktail, brownie, and milk. Be aware that the supply chain is currently affecting meal offerings, so they may give you something slightly different than when, when you get there. 
Weather for today is a high of 76 and a low of 50. Weather for tomorrow is a high of 76 and a low of 60. That's all for today. Go, Go Warhawks. Yeah, we did it. <laughs>